Hi, my name's Maya Elaine, and I'm a visual artist. <laughs> I've been drawing ever since I was a little kid. When I was nine, um, I started taking drawing classes um, and it just kind of took off from there. I went to audition for uh, arts middle school and I didn't make it in, I made it on the waiting list, but I ended up just not wanting to do it. I felt like since one person told me no, I couldn't do anything else. So I stopped for about three years. And then high school, I decided to go back into the arts, but instead of visual arts, I went for technical theater. And from then on, I took on to a specialty in scenic painting, lights, and prop design. Um, and painting was just my favorite of all of them. I was painting head for the big musical of the year Beauty and the Beast my junior year um, and that was just where I really was like this is what I'm going to do for a while. A lot of my artwork is personally related. Um, it comes from how I feel based off of the events that unfold in you know the concrete world um, coming from news or economics or just on a social standpoint cultural norms all those things kind of feed into how I'm feeling and it comes out in the shape or form of something that sort of expresses that emotion without actually saying anything. My biggest influence would definitely be Alphonse Mucha, um, German artist from the Art Nouveau time period. He, all of his work was just completely complex but also simple and beautiful at the same time. And he worked in so many different mediums that it always made me want to do more with my artwork instead of just drawing and painting. Um, current day, I really like Drew Merritt. Um, his work is definitely along those lines of that complex simplicity. I started going to art events, Art Walk mainly, um, and I just started making friends with the artists in that community. And from then on, I would just start going to different events, um, whether it be gallery showings or if somebody would have, say, like a little festival going on, I would go there just to show support to those artists so they would see like, oh, she's somebody who's interested in those things. So they would invite me to more events and from then on, I would sort of find the pillars of the art community and kind of find my way into making myself kind of one of those pillars in the art community and being someone who is looked up to. I would definitely say don't be so hard on yourself. Um, don't take it so seriously. If you make a piece that you don't like and you feel like it's not going anywhere, you could push forward or you can just start it over. It doesn't matter. It's not the end of the world. Um, definitely challenge yourself with each piece you do. Don't just stay in kind of your little niche. Always explore, always be willing to try new things because you never really know what you'll fall in love with. <laughs> Bam!